All right, thank you very much. And welcome to another installation of CCTV camera plus lights. As you can see, we have the pole already. I'm going to mount this camera. Let me show you the camera. Wait. These are the cameras that we bought for this case. Because as you can see, this um, an open space. It's going to be a farm where uh, they wear different kinds of animals and they need security and also light, adequate lighting for this space. Then this is the security house eventually. The positioning of this camera one is going to be here. This way. This particular spot. Yeah, this one will cover this angle because the building is going to be on that side. You cover this angle like this, the best eye view. Then you can also pan the camera to this side to see all the way to this security house. Then for the entrance, you can see the other one over there. They are going to put it opposite this one. So when we put it opposite, that other one can bend to towards the gate side. You understand? And also, it can also bend towards this side. On the other end so by the end of the installation i'm going to show you how it will look like i'm going to have the pole i will dig the hole put place the pole inside put some blocks and put some cement and mount the light on it on it i already connected it to the app to the viewing app on the client's phone that i don't have any business with that so all i have to do is to connect to just mount the, the camera on the pole and to fix the pole firmly on the ground for it to work let me show you what is inside the camera in case this is the first time you are coming across this video in this box we have the following number one this is how big the light is by the way the 450 watt lights solar suit lights this is your normal solar suit light 450 watts but for the entire setup it comes with a power a power plug for the camera this is the point where you plug the camera to get power through the battery inside the battery is big enough to power both the light and the camera then this is the panel that charges the battery inside that eventually powers the light in the evening the light comes on only in the evening then the camera works two for seven because this is the button where you switch on the camera after connecting it to through this uh, usb connector so that's how it works and also there's a manual inside on how to connect the viewing app and what is then again there's this pole this black pole an attachment pole is inside but i've already welded it to this other extra pole i bought so at the end of the video i'm going to show you how the whole installation will, will look like thank you very much see me at the end let me show you what i've done so far I now want to place the already mixed cement or something like mortar into the hole. First of all, let me explain what I've done so far. When you dig the ground to, let's say, two feet inside, when you've done that, then you can fix the camera on the pole. Then when you put it inside the hole, you adjust it or you hold it to the particular direction where you want it to face. So when you do that, then you try to make sure it is firm and it is straight by placing some blocks inside to hold it together. Then before you mix cement, sand and gravel and pour it inside until it gets to the top, you fill it, you fill the many spaces inside until it gets to the top. Then when you leave it like that, it's going to be firm and solid. Now I want to place this, come, come and show them what I've done. The way it is, it's not wobbling, it's not moving, it is straight and it is firmly fixed to the ground. But I have to place this cement inside to make it stronger. So I'm going to just do this, see? I'm going to keep placing cement inside until it's filled up. Then I can use my shovel to smooth it around the surface when it gets to the top. So when I'm done with it, I'll also show you that. Thank you very much. Okay, as you can see, I've already filled 
the hole, the remaining space is inside with cement. And you can see now that it is solid. The sun is out and the sun is very bright. In the next three to four hours, everything here will be solidified. And right now, I can say that my work is done. Now, you can now have 24-7 security and even lights at night for this your space. You don't have any issues as to whether you are going to have burglars that will come inside and destroy and take your properties away because you have 24 7 surveillance and also lights at night to scare away potential burglars. Now, let me show you the other camera that I fixed. See, you can see this one is facing this direction. This is the gate. This is the gate. It's like a zigzag pattern. When you have two cameras, you have to place them in different directions to ensure that all the cameras are not facing one side. You get so this one is facing the gate, and you can also pan it with your phone to up to this direction. So let's go and see the other one. Follow me. The other one is place the primary focus is this side diagonally from there. You can see from there to this side where the building is going to be. Then you can also pan it to this side if you want to. But this one, the primary focus for this is the gates and also mostly the front side and the entrance to the security house. The one you're down, the primary focus is the main bill that's going to be here and also up to where I'm standing right now. So thank you very much for uh, staying with me till this time. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel for more tips like this. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.